You know, I had a thought this morning as I got around and got on the road, heading down here to San Antonio. And as I came down the stairs at the house, the sun was just coming up. And the clouds were, as you can kind of see here, just across the sky and that that beautiful orange and red and blue were just blending together as the sun came up. And it was what I would say is breathtaking. It was beautiful. Just those colors and that softness and just that cool, crisp air with a little bit of warmth in it. It was to me like almost the perfect morning. Just that that morning that everything just looks and feels right. And then I got in the truck and drove down here to San Antonio, dropped my wife off with, with her cousin and their family, and I'm headed to a, a disc golf tournament this morning. And I get in the truck and I turn on my music, and the first song I hear is I Can Only Imagine. Mercy Me's I Can Only Imagine. And I started thinking about the song as I listened to it. And I started thinking about some of the words in it, some of the things he says in it. When he talks about, you know, uh, when I find myself standing in the sun. You know, I can only imagine what it will be like when your face is before me. He says, I can only imagine. And he nails it with that. And I thought about that, and I thought about it with this morning that how beautiful things were. And I thought, you know, we can only imagine because our minds cannot comprehend the things of heaven. We know very little about heaven overall out of the Bible. We know there's a street of gold, we know there's pearly gates, we know that He is there and has prepared for us a place. And if he goes to prepare that place, then he will doubtless come again. And there's a few other things that we know about heaven. But we can only imagine what it will be like. And I look at that sunrise this morning and I think about how beautiful a sunrise is. And I think about the times in my life when I have seen something and I have thought, wow. That's breathtaking. Wow, look how pretty that is. We've all seen photographs and been to places and we, we see these things and we're just blown away by the beauty right here on earth. The beauty in our own backyards and we're just blown away by it. And then I think about that song and I think about heaven and I think if we think that's beautiful now I can only imagine how truly truly breathtaking heaven is going to be what it's going to be like when there's no more darkness when there's no more tears when there's no more sadness when Every day we spend rejoicing and praising God. When every day we get to see our Savior and praise Him and worship Him and thank Him for what He's done for us. When every day we get to see firsthand, in person, the creation of that he has that day, that eternal sunrise, that eternal beauty, and we get to be there and see that for ourselves. I can only imagine how beautiful and how majestical heaven will truly be, and I can't wait. I love a good sunrise, I love a good sunset, I love the beauty of the hill country in Central Texas. I love the beauty of, of Alabama and the mountains and some Tennessee, the places I've been. I think all of these 
places just hold such a dear place in my heart. And I love these places and they're beautiful. And all I can think is, I can only imagine how much more heaven is gonna be. I hope you know your savior this morning. I hope you know that Jesus Christ came and he died for you. He shed his blood on Calvary's tree so that you can spend an eternity in that perfect heaven, in that beautiful place, so that you can be there with him forevermore. He did it for you. He did it for me. We're all sinners come short of the glory of God. There's no other name given among men whereby you must be saved. It is through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone, through his blood, through his sacrifice, through the redeeming of our soul, through our repentance of sins and our faith in him, that we get to see that unimaginable heaven. And I want you to know he loves you and he cares for you. And he wants you to come to him. Today is the day. Now is the accepted time. Accept him. He's calling for you this morning. He's pleading for your soul. Turn away from the sin. Turn away from the devil. And turn to the Lord. Turn to Jesus who gave his life for you. I love you all and I thank you for listening. And I hope I see you in heaven. If I don't see you before then. <laughs>